What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel, Neil Bone Fishing. I got some tackle warehouse boxes that we're gonna look at today, but we're gonna just look at one, save the other for another video. But we got some pretty cool stuff, so I'm gonna bring you guys up in some close-up shots, you know. Alright, starting out, I want to say thank you very much, Parabellum Fishing. Send me a Christmas card, let us know somewhere else. Merry Christmas to my YouTube fishing family. I appreciate it, man. He sent a sticker with it. This is what I made out of it. We got a Christmas tree ornament now, so... Thanks a lot, Joe. Merry Christmas to you, man. Hope you have a good one. Let's get into some baits. Starting out. Yes, I do. I got crabs. Bam. There they are. Kicker crabs. A new one from Z-Man. Best of category at iCast 2022. This color is called the Deal. They are a 3.5 inch. They come three in a pack. And uh, these things are freaking awesome. Let's check these dudes out. And bam, there we go. Look at that. Now, freaking crabs come in all different shapes and sizes. Some of you guys are probably scratching at some of them. But this sucker here is the only crab that I want in my house. Check this dude out. Freaking awesome looking. Got a little pincher claw right there. And this part here is like a swim bait paddle tail. Looks really freaking good. And we have some legs up here. Eyes. You can see the whiskers. Got the hook slot in there nice and deep. I mean, this thing is freaking cool. I can see why it won some awards that it won. I'm really happy to have this bait. And they got some... Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite colors from Z-Man. It's called The Deal. And, uh, man, this is definitely the real deal. Awesome looking crab. I'm going to fish this sucker on a belly away to hook. And just let him get frisky down there on the bottom. Just freaking swinging hands or swinging claws. But it also looks like a good one that you could twitch around, you know? Fish it like a fluke and just twitch at it. But very excited to try this. Even though it is a bait for salt water, this will definitely work in fresh water. And I have a feeling it's going to work very well. But it does look like a sand flea with a crab. I mean, it just it looks good. I mean, it definitely looks like a lot of stuff. Really awesome looking. And that is the new Z-Man Kicker Crab. And here we go. Next, we got a new one from Guggen Baits called the Happy Trailer. You get six in a pack. This color is called Electric Shad. Slon Sauce. Symmetrical profile. Bait fish shaped. Ribbed body for his or her pleasure. Double cut segmented body. Taper cut. Hyper action. Four inch. Perfect length. Fish won't let go. And there it is. This is definitely a very cool looking bait right here. I like this part. This part right here it seems very freaking cool. Well thought out. I mean, you can see how it all collapses on one another. Or on each other. Whichever way you put it. It is like a puzzle piece. Pretty cool. We got a little slit in the tails here. I like that tail. That is a pretty cool looking tail. I like everything about this bait all but one thing i think the head of this is very thin if you push these little sides together to make it round it's no bigger than a trick worm so i think that is this bait's downfall it's not going to fit on very many uh bladed jigs if they have the thicker bait keeper but i do know that the guggen's bait keeper is a little bit thin so i mean it probably works well on theirs or the jackhammer you'll be fine or a thunder cricket but the original chatterbait it may be a little struggle there, but definitely a really cool design. I hope in the future that they make the head of this thicker. Um, you can even cut it down to try to get on here more because it actually gets thinner. So that's kind of a bummer there. But all in all, pretty cool looking bait. I love their uh, their electric shad color. They did a very good job on it. It looks very good. All right, next we have a couple of packs of the Jordan Lee Champ Minnow. We're going to take a closer look and check these suckers out. And here we go. This one is the HD Bluegill Minnow. And, I mean, check that paint job out on these guys. You do get 10 to a pack, so that's a pretty good amount. These things look really great. This is just a pearl white, not one of their HD colors really like this one this is the uh, black nose shiner you can really just see how freaking 
amazing these things look. Really amazing detail on these baits. They look really good. You could definitely match the hatch with these baits for sure. Next, we got the Agent E, made by Berkeley here. These are a 3-inch Gobi-style bait. The weight of them is 3 quarter ounce. And this is the HD series. Picked up a couple different colorways, so let's check them out. First one is HD Gobi. And I'm very impressed by the patterns that they have. How they're able to get these nice details on these baits. Got an awesome eye there. This here has a piece of monofilament or fluorocarbon as the weed guard. Really freaking cool. Nice hook. The Berkeley Fusion hooks, they're very good quality. Never any promise with it. But you can see the, the detail on these things are pretty bizarre. We got a little orange on the tail there. Nice goby pattern. And this one here is HD Bluegill. And you can see very good looking. Really awesome, three quarter ounce. Got some little fins on here. Very nice. And this one is HD Gizzard Shad. And one thing you'll notice is they have a built in rattle here. As you see, there's a plastic cap. And once that cap falls off, you see a rattle in there. You will not lose the bead. But one thing that is a downfall with this bait is when fished enough, these cheeks start to tear apart here. And you'll get a crack down here. But one thing that I do that really helps the bait out is I will get some super glue. And you want to make sure you use a good super glue. I use this crazy glue here because the crazy glue is nice and liquidy. It has this... Uh, little pin here so this is like the only stuff that doesn't dry out when you're not using it but i use that and uh you know let's just do it real quick let me show you what you want to do is you want to take these cheeks here spread them apart let's get our um droplet ready put a drop down in there and this glue is going to work itself into the cracks there and you could see how far you could really pull it out so stretch it out a bit and that's it let that baby dry up and then you won't have that problem of the cheeks tearing it will make your bait last much longer and they are great baits they catch fish and uh really love these patterns here's a better example of what happens when the cap falls out when a cap falls out, you'll see that the cheeks just get torn up, but there is a rattle in there. And, you know, let's just see what this looks like inside. Why not, right? Let's tear it apart. Pretty tough, actually, like once we get down here. Well, one thing we know is that it's not going to rip out with the wire. Well, I'm struggling. All right, so when we rip it out, this is what it's looking like in there. There's the rattle chamber. That is everything that's inside of there, if you're wondering. And I tell you what. I could tell you that these guards are in there pretty tough. I mean, well, actually, I just pulled that out, but it took some force. Yeah, they're in there very well. So that's what it looks like inside the uh, Agent E. All right, been waiting for these colors to come in. This is the Berkeley Shape 108. We got the Alabama Crawl, and then we got the Okeechobee Crawl. These are three and a half inches long. You do get eight in a pack. Let's check them out. There is the Okeechobee Crawl. Very nice bait. I'm glad that Berkeley added some baits to their lineup like this. They definitely needed this. Uh, very nice claws. You can see they got that little, uh, I like to call them like a rage style claw. But they have the nice little um, fins there to help give it some action. 
And they recommend this on a swim jig, which makes sense because the angle of these uh, ridges here is really going to make these claws want to spread out. And they're going to have a lot of wide flapping action. Very nice looking craw. This is the Okeechobee color. Then we have the Alabama craw, which I really like this, uh, this orange that they got in there. It's a very nice looking orange with some green pumpkin. And a little fun fact, the Shape 108 got its name because it took them a 108 times to get this mold. Um, so they, they experimented with some different shapes, but it wasn't until the 108th one that they decided they liked the way it looked. So that is how it got its name. A little fun fact. Really nice power bait scent. And uh, these things smell good, look good. They even taste good. But don't say I told you that. I don't know that they taste good. Do not eat these, all right? Let the bass do that. See, we got like the ribbed body here. Bug looking body here. Kind of looks like a beetle there or a crawl. But really awesome looking. Now to the hard baits. Went and picked up another stunner. I met a subscriber at my local park. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I did a video uh, where I left a sock full of baits there for anybody to find. And while I was down there fishing, he was looking for the sock, but somebody beat him to it. And uh, in the future, if somebody finds a sock, maybe, you know, put in the comments that it was found. But then again, you got to worry that people might just say that to make you not want to go look. And it's still there, just a way to kind of stall you. So you never really know. But this is the stunner. But uh, anyway, the sock was gone. His name is Craig. What's up, Craig? How you doing, man? So I let him pick a bait out of my box. And this is the one that he went with. And good taste, man. Because this is definitely one of my favorite colors from him. Looks really nice. Very natural. Very good paint jobs on there. Super sharp hooks. Get three of them. And these things cast great. They have a tungsten. That little ball in there is a tungsten weight transfer system so you can see it kind of swoops up and so during a cast when you go to load up and cast all the weight stays at this tail here which helps it kind of dial in and just get out there and cut through the wind so it's not out there flapping like this getting your line tangled up in the hooks they do cast great they fish well and they catch fish caught a nice bass on thanksgiving on the stunner in the color stone cold but this color here is called bronze back and it's a beauty i love these baits freaking awesome next up we got the berkeley fritz side clicking this sucker's pretty juicy five to seven feet three sevenths ounce two and a half inches and it is a clicking this color here is called ghost red crawl and you can see these paint jobs are freaking pretty nice on these baits. You'll see it's well weighed here. We got a weight there, a weight there up in the body. Nice slender flat side. And then check out that bill. There is even a weight in there. Really nice. You can see where the clicker's at. Exactly right there. So pretty awesome bait. Awesome paint job. I like it. And, uh, cannot wait to fish it. And we have another Fritz side in the clicking. This here is one of my favorite colorways from them. It's called Firetail Green Crawl. And you can see it has a nice hue of blue on here. And that bright orange, I mean, it looks like it's on fire. Really awesome colorway there. I mean, the details on this thing is pretty nice. Got the opaque bill. Same thing, this is a clicking. And I like five to seven feet. Anything five and, and lower, you know, I could throw a square bill and stuff like that. But just to get down a little bit more, I want to stay nice and slender down there. A nice tighter action. This is, the, this is a pretty awesome bait right here. I love that color. From 13 Fishing, the Gordito 50. This is a very nice one. This is called Old Greg. And uh, it's a 2-inch bait, 3 eighths of an ounce. 
hook ring size six and these baits cast very well we're going to take it out of pack take a closer look and check it out now some of these baits are from my pre-order and some are from black friday sales and i got this off the of tackle warehouse for a black friday sale and it was a uh, price very cheap like maybe four or five bucks but you can see 13 fishing there are no slouch when it comes to painting they have very nice paint jobs very nice bait designs and this bait casts far and clean right there they'll put on their lips seven feet but you get good hardware with this these are vmc hooks Anytime they're round bends, they're going to be the VMC. When they're the EWG style, they're going to be the KVD triple grips. So they always use nice hooks. And you can see that thing just looks vicious. Very nice. Seven feet deep. I love it. We picked up the Gradito in the Fire and Ice. Now, speaking of our bud, Parabolum, this is actually his favorite color in this bait. And uh, I can see why. I think it might be mine too, honestly. I mean, look at this colorway here. It looks like candy. Really cool details. Awesome choice of colors here. Whoever designed this, the artist that they got over there does very well. This is like, it's all the colors there. It's almost perfect. Like, I couldn't even think of a better color pattern than this. But very nice, you see. We got, like, the nice rounded head here. Kind of like the Weagle Wart style. Or the uh, Six Sense Curve. But we got the more square bill lip here. And this bait is just juicy. Nice hooks, sharp. But look at that color, man. That is some eye candy there. been dying for these things uh this was a very long wait because they were so back ordered when i pre-ordered them from icast but this is the power blade from berkeley it is in a half ounce and uh, this color is called shad spawn really awesome looking uh spinner bait i did have this out of the pack i couldn't wait some of these i had to rip out of the pack and check them out myself got this in the colorado blade we have the silver blade here the gold one here the skirt's got power bait scent on it i love the way the skirt looks with them colors in there that thing is this freaking shiny shiny skirt says the weight on air half an ounce i always like the berkeley bait keepers you know there's like good ones out there but there is nothing wrong with this one when you put a bait on this bait keeper here and you try to get it off, it's almost like it's glued. This bait keeper does a very good job. One thing you'll notice that the hook is so much longer than most other spinner baits here. Their idea behind this is that you do not need a trailer hook because it's that much longer. So that is pretty cool. Uh, every once in a while, I'll throw a trailer hook. I don't really like the trailer hooks, but I feel like if I'm... Uh, getting some short strikes then i'll throw it on there but i usually fish fish my spinner baits pretty bare i don't even put a trailer on them i just fish them like this out of pack now there is times i will put a paddle tail on or something but you can see nice thin wire love this skirt pattern here what is this one called again spawn shad looks really good now let's check out that bearing I mean, that thing's spinning for days. Really nice and smooth. Everything about it is amazing. Next, we went with the Compact. Now, this was another color that was just really just hard to get, you know. This isn't a half ounce. This one's called Purple Rain. And this is a Compact one. And check this out. So, th so this one is your standard size. This one is your compact. Now, looking at both of these side by side, they're both a half an ounce. And this one just looks so much bigger, but check this out. This is where they make up for it at. 
right here on the shank of the hook, they put a lot of that weight there. So you could still have a small head. And it just, looking at this, you would think that it weighs three eighths of an ounce. But no, it is a half ounce because they put a lot of that weight on a shank. And this one also has that long hook, Fusion 19. And they are hand tied skirts on both of them. Tied down very well. But look at that. That is amazing. This one here is in the Willow Blades. Let's see how good these ones spin. Very nice bearings that they use to swivel. Look at that skirt. We got like a little yellow, like a rubber band color. Got the purple. And then we got like the white with the glitter. It just looks awesome. And the last bait from the Tackle Warehouse order. This color is called Crawl. It is a Lunker Hunt fillet. And um, this bait is really cool. It is a 3 eighth of an ounce. It's 3 inches long. But what's really cool about this bait is something that I will not be able to show you here. Unfortunately, but let me get it out and explain They had this on sale on tackle warehouse, but what's really cool about this bait is When it hit, when it's in the water and it goes down to the bottom it stands right up like this Every time it will fall and it'll always stay on his nose really nice looking I was messing around with this in the uh, fish tank, and it looked freaking awesome. I'll have to get some, like, underwater footage for you guys to check this out, but it looked amazing. It was so freaking cool. But, yeah, that is it. That is the pattern there. And um, I really like it. Comes in two sizes. It comes in a one-ounce size, and what was this one again? Uh, this was a 3 8 ounce, and then it came in like a 1 ounce. I think it will be a fish catcher. The way it just stays on the bottom is pretty impressive. A little honorable mention, whenever I'm at Walmart, I get a little greedy with these because they don't make these baits no more, but you can find them at Walmart, unless the only place you can find them is Walmart. But this is the Rebel Deep We Are, and these are really nice baits here. Whenever you could get these, I recommend to pick them up. You just have to change the hooks out. I would recommend to do that. But if you don't have other hooks to change to, just fish it. You'll be fine. But definitely a good cold water bait. I actually have a fish catch that um, on a couple of these baits I could show you. I'll show you the bass that I caught Thanksgiving on a stunner. And uh, a crappy I caught on a stunner. And w even caught a uh, bass on this dude here. This is like one of the only ones that has a screw that keeps the lip there. But that is it. The Rebel Deep We Are. Definitely a good bait. I could ever only find them in the craw color and in this color, which is just a chartreuse. Definitely recommend to get these. And they're only like three and some change are very cheap and that's gonna wrap it up i mean we got more stuff that's a new one and we got this whole box that we haven't touched yet here we got some pretty juicy stuff in here we got some uh picasso blades some really nice stuff so and we got some bulk bags of some baits here so that'll be the next video